welcome to another uh, grocery haul, the big shop of the week. I top up fruit and veg and milk and things, but this is the big shop. I'm a bit stressed. Normally, go normally. Well, most times it runs like clockwork, but this time I loaded. We haven't got a car, so I loaded all the shopping up under the double buggy. Tied two bags onto the sides. The first bag ripped before we even left the shop and there was food everywhere so I had to put the food in the front seat of the buggy and ask the three year old to walk which I have had to do before and he's walked home fine but this time he decided he wasn't walking and chucked his hand on the floor several times on the way home and then a sec the second bag and these bags from Aldi aren't cheap they're 9p each this second bag starts ripping and it's hanging like that and the food's you know and I'm and um, I'm saying to the kids, come on, let's just walk, come on, because this bag's going to go when I have no way to put the shop in, there'll be food all over the floor, it'll be everywhere. Luckily, the baby's blanket, I could I could tie it under the bag and tie it to the buggy and try and hold the bag up a bit, but it's been stressful, it's been very, very stressful. Um, <laughs> I'll show you what we got, I've got lots of meat in the freezer, um, so I'm going to do lots of stews this week to warm us all up. Um, so I will end up buying some more potatoes to go with that, but this the rest of what I've got should see me through apart from topping up milk and a bit of fruit So I'll just show you what we got So first off I got some five size five nappies. I got the smaller pack because you can get a jumbo pack Um they're selling off Toys and things left over from Christmas because it's the new year now So I've got some jelly bath for the kids to play with cheap um, I got some, well I call them frubes because that's the proper brand isn't it, but it's like tubes of yoghurt Some chocolate trifles, I got two um, chocolate rolls because at Christmas I really wanted a chocolate yule log and I couldn't find one anywhere So now it's, hello Bob, so now it's New Year and I've seen one, I was like I'm buying two, we'll have a New Year chocolate log instead Hang on Bob, Bob. I got two packs of um, baby plum tomatoes, three packs of red Leicester because I think we might have some jacket potatoes this week. Um, four pack of baked beans, four pack of sweet corn. Bud, have you pulled? Um, yeah. So let mummy just say about the apples and the strawberries and then yeah. Some apples, some strawberries, and some normal tomatoes. Come here, bud. I forgot to say I've got this washing up liquid. It's lemon, lime and lemongrass flavour. They didn't have no normal stuff. So I don't, well, we'll see how it goes. Normally I don't get flavoured washing up liquid because I think it makes your plates taste funny, but we'll see how it is. I got a bag of carrots. And um, that's got nice in the stews, but the kids like eating carrots raw anyway. I got some sausages. I got some baking potatoes for the jacket potatoes I want to make. Some flour some potatoes but these will be for chips and things like that because the Morris Piper potatoes when you put them in stew they just disintegrate so I need some different potatoes for my stews onion some milk but I'll end up buying loads more of that uh, bubble bath summer fruits dilute apple orange juice apple juice uh, tin of baked beans and sausages tin of beef soup for my oldest spaghetti hoops in the carrots I got a six pack of cheese and onion rolls and a six pack of sausage rolls what I do is I put these in the freezer and they're nice warmed up either on their own as a snack or uh, as part of the tea and um, I got some cold slaw I got six packets of these pasta cup shots because my husband works nights so if he gets in at six in the morning and I'm in bed and he's hungry and he, he can't be bothered to cook himself anything because he's been at work for 12 hours he'll just do two or three of these in a bowl um some chicken breasts Yummy. a bag of frozen vegetables to go in the freezer some what's in there cauliflower broccoli peas and carrots um, some lettuces, some potato waffles, four steak and gravy pies for the freezer. They're selling off their Christmas chocolate still. Last week we got loads of really cheap chocolate sanders and things and chocolate tree decorations, but we've still got some left, so I just got them. Why the dirt cheap? 
I got six packets of these banana and apple um, pure pureed baby foods because that's what the three year old will eat and the fussy eater will eat and it is just like a fruit smoothie isn't it, it's good for him I suppose so don't mind buying them um, I got a swede and another tin of beef soup some cheese slices some chunky chocolate biscuit bars two packets of bread muffins because the husband and the kids like them one packet of crumpets but the husband will say they're not called crumpets they're called pie kids um a loaf of crusty white bread there's two cucumbers i did buy three so i'm hoping that i've already mentioned a cucumber and i'm just i can't remember because i'm stressed and not that we lost it when that bag ripped on my own but i did buy three um packed grapes some leeks for me two packets of instant beef noodles and some cooked ham i have a broccoli and a caramel wacko bars oh that's a nine pack that's good value <laughs> um choco break that's an eight pack chocolate wafer bars that's a nine pack as well um, I thought we'd try these four cheese and onion crisp bakes. I think they went freezer. I thought they'd be all right. We'll try them. Some rice. Uh, another tin of carrots. Sorry, this is in no particular order. It's just if you haven't guessed, it's been a stre been a stressful process today. I've done my best. Um, two lamb rogue and Josh curries. One's for the husband. One's for my oldest son. They both like curry. Two packets of baby wipes. I thought I'd bought three. But maybe that got lost when the bag ripped as well. I don't know. Oh, so here's the other one. Yeah, we have got three. Thank you, Pudge for No problem. And um, the only thing missing is a pack of cookies that I let the kids eat on the way home, yeah. trying to get the two three year old to walk, but he wouldn't. And it all came to £79.27. Yeah, that was incredibly stressful for me to shop and film. So. <laughs> Hopefully he liked it. I'm going to go now. <sighs> Hello, welcome to a charity shop haul. I wasn't going to plan on doing one. We'd, we've been to a soft play home ed meetup and then on the way back we went to charity shop. And I think in America they call them thrift stores and in New Zealand they call them the op shop, which is quite a cool name, the op shop. So this is what I got. It's just after Christmas, so there's all kinds of things in there and they're selling things off cheaper than the advertised as well because they're trying to get rid of stock pudge wanted this clock and it's also an alarm clock and a tin i don't know why i wanted it because it was simpsons i think beanie wanted this bag of little plastic warriors it says two pound fifty on it but i think she gave it me cheaper because it doesn't that doesn't tally with the total if there were two pound fifty so i think she gave them us cheaper now this is this was two pound in it was in the window and i thought it was one foam mat which will come in handy for when the kids go camping and things but it's actually two foam mats so that's a bargain uh cups don't last five minutes in our ass <laughs> so we've got these cups for 20p each there was one that was a really good size but it said i love my cat on it and i haven't got a cat so far <laughs> again that so one says coffee one that says coleman's mustard fragrant roses with their delicate scent in back butterflies and that's got flamingo on i think yeah flamingo and then i was really impressed with this they're stage one to what stage one to stage six of the songbirds phonics series written by julia donaldson who wrote the gruffalo i've heard these books are really good but i've never bought them because they're expensive new and i got up a lot lot and they were 10p each, they come to about £4 I think, but I got the lot. Very, very impressed with that. Bargain. And then I got these chapter books, these were 10p each as well. Beanie likes, well the, both kids like chapter books being read to them, read alouds, but Beanie really likes animals and animal stories, so I think my mum read me some of these now a little, but I'm not sure. It's about a vet and each one's about a different animal, like you've got pony in the porch hamster in the hamper cub in the cupboard dog at the door badger in the basement guinea pig in the garage lamb in the laundry so that sounds dead familiar like my mum's read it to me so i'm gonna ask her i bet she has kittens in the kitchen hedgehogs in the hall so i think they'll enjoy that and then i got these two books for beanie also 10p each 
mad about dinosaurs, mad about sharks. And the whole lot came to about £8.60, I think. So, um, yeah, very impressed with that. I'm really pleased with the read learner books, the reading learner books. So, I just want to share that with you because I know um, all the homeschool mums appreciate a bargain, especially when it comes to do with books. And I'm going to go now. Bye bye.